panel issue that is going to be discussed throughout our concept map is going to focus on the question of should the curriculum be standardized for all? Now, according to John Holt in an excerpt from his book, Escape from Childhood, he says that young people should have the right to control and direct their own learning. The focus of Holt's argument is the issue of whether or not one should be able to control their own learning. Controlling one's own learning is an example of freedom of speech. Freedom of speech entails a lot of things. It's a constitutional right. All Americans should have it. So why not our youth? John Holt believes that freedom of speech leads to inquiry. It also leads to new ideas, encourages positive relationships, as well as encourages freedom of thought while preventing compulsory restrictions. Compulsory restrictions, which include a standardized curriculum, as well as mandatory attendance. Freedom of thought allows for curiosity to develop and improves motivation and allows for diverse interests to develop naturally within our youth. John Holt also believes that the issue of controlling one's own learning is an example of freedom of choice. Freedom of choice includes several areas, including what to learn, where to learn it, when to learn it, who teaches, as well as the pace of learning. The freedom of choice on what to take includes choosing subjects such as science, math, art, and reading, as well as many other subjects. Choosing the pace of one's learning is also very important to Holt's argument. Whether a student should learn fast or slow is a big issue. The choice of where a student should do their learning is also a part of Holt's argument. Should the learning take place at a setting like a home, in homeschool situations, or should they learn in a formal institution? such as a school. The choice of when considers issues of what time of day should the student learn, as well as how much time in general should they spend learning. The choice of who teaches is also very important. Should students learn from peers, parents, or educational professionals? The focus question that we've been looking at is, should the curriculum be standardized? The principles that we were looking at were controlling one's own learning, which helps freedom of choice, and also freedom of speech. The records that relate to our findings can be seen below, here. The first record having to deal with the freedom of speech, the second having to deal with the freedom of choice. Holt believed that a person's freedom of learning is a part of his freedom of thought, which is even more basic than his freedom of speech. Holt also believed that the youth should have the freedom to choose what, how, why, and where they should be learning. Holt's knowledge claim is that it's a human right to control and direct one's own learning, as you can see above. Holt's value claim is that it's a personal choice that should be the most important thing within American education. After analyzing John Holt's theory of education, we have come up with our own perspectives and we've pointed out here on this slide some of our disagreements with his theory. One of the major flaws in Holt's theory is that he doesn't specify an age at which children should decide their own educational values. This is a major thing to leave out in his argument as it seems to be the basis of his whole argument. We find this a major flaw. We also believe that children should not be given as much freedom as Holt thinks that they should, 
as children at a young age still need to develop their mind, and they're not mature and old enough to have the capacity, the capacity to actually know what they want and what they want to learn. We would also argue that children aren't mature enough to make the decisions to go to school or not. We think that John Holt is putting too much trust in the parents in believing that they will persuade the children to go to school when in fact they may not have to. We feel that without the requirements of education put in place, that society will suffer from an uned uneducated population. This will be detrimental to the future of our world. We also feel that John Holt does not provide enough evidence with research or any solid substance in this whole article. John Holt also argues that schools are actually worse than the outside world in setting an example for our youth of today. He also argues that schools are destructive and dangerous institutions. This is a scary thought coming out of Mr. John Holt. These are some of the disagreements that our group has come up with in John Holt's argument for his theory of education. We hope you enjoyed our slideshow, and we'd like to open up the floor to any questions at this time.